Hey Yogi, welcome to this 15 minute power vinyasa yoga class. We move our whole body, it's gonna be sweaty and challenging. So grab everything you need and I'll meet you right back on your mat. Let's go! Find your way into a child's pose. You can bring the knees in mat distance or keep them together. Walk the hands forward and just let your head rest for a moment on your mat. It's a quick practice, so we take a few seconds to focus, to find our breath and to center ourselves. Five. Deep breath here, in and out through the nose. Two more. And then with your next inhale, press the palms into the hand. Press the palms into the mat, excuse me, and come all the way up into a tabletop position. From your tabletop position, hands below the shoulders, knees below the hips, start to warm up the wrist. Draw some circles from left to right. Spread the fingers wide and feel the mat below your fingers. Very good. And feel into your whole body. How are you feeling today? How are your wrists? How much weight can you put on your wrist? Very good. And then from here, move the knees a little bit closer. We turn the hands around, so fingers pointing towards your knees, thumbs to the side. You can always bring the knees a little bit closer, tuck the toes and bend the elbows slightly. Sit back towards your heels and feel the stretch in your forearms. It's just a gentle stretch to wake up our hands, wrists and forearms. One more deep inhale. Exhale, sink in and then let go. Sit back on your heels. Let go of the wrists. Tuck your toes under. If you can, even the pinky toes. Sit back, arms to the front, warm up your wrists. We make stars with our hands, so you're spreading the fingers wide and make fists. Fists, stars, fists, stars, all right? So a few times, really engaging here our wrist. With your inhale, move all the way up. With your exhale to the sides. Inhale to the front. Move all the way up, exhale one more round, to the front, all the way up, and to the sides, and to the front, release, shake it off, alright, from here we find our way into a high plank, place the hands, step the feet back, engage your core, press the shoulder blades away from each other, Long spine, crown of the head is reaching forward. We hold here for five, four, engage your glutes, feel your back muscles working and even your core. Two, and on one. Shift the hips up and back into your downward facing dog. You can stay on your tippy toes right away. And then you bring one heel by the other into the mat. Start to walk your dog, find some movement. Maybe you even want to move the hips from left to right. Don't lose your breath. Breathe in and out through the nose. Very good. Just one more breath here. And then find your expression of downward facing dog. Maybe you come up to the tippy toes, bend the knees and shift the hips up and back even higher to have a really long spine. Engage your core. One more inhale. Exhale. Very good. 
All right, if you're not already on the tippy toes, come onto the tippy toes and we round forward into our high plank. Vertebra by vertebra, round forward. Find your high plank. In your high plank, let your hips lower towards the mat. Slowly roll the shoulders back, push into your toes, the heels back. Engage your back muscles, long neck. One inhale, bend the knees slightly and then push all the way up and back, downward facing dog. We do this one more time. Inhale, tippy toes, round forward, come into your high plank, roll forward, very good. Slowly let the hips lower towards the mat, they're floating. They're not touching the mat, roll the shoulders back, look up and then bend the knees and shift the hips all the way up and back. Very good. One inhale and exhale. With your next inhale, tippy toes. We round forward again like a wave in the ocean coming to your high plank. Whew. A lot of high planks today. Bring the knees to the floor. We do a baby chaturanga a baby push-up, um, you're not sticking out your butt, you keep it in, tuck your tailbone, have a really long spine, you see I'm a line from my knees up to my shoulders. We bend the elbows 90 degree, we hold and push all the way back up. Ha. Two more times, engage your core, engage your glutes, lower and all the way up. Very good, one more time, go low, hold and push all the way back up, all right, last time we lower all the way to the ground, engage core and glutes, lower down, very good, inhale, press the tops of the feet into the mat, baby cobra, inhale, exhale lower, inhale, press into the hands, press into the tops of the feet, Come all the way up, tabletop position, and find your downward facing dog. Very good. Take a deep inhale here. And a full exhale. Whew. Again, come onto your tippy toes. Last round here. We roll forward into our high plank. Engage your core. Strong back, shoulder blades away from each other. We do one full chaturanga together. Always the option to bring the knees down. Lower with control, 90 degree elbows. Untuck the toes and come into your upward facing dog. Roll the shoulders back. Exhale, hips up and back. Downward facing dog. Place hands and feet. Very good. Inhale, and exhale, okay, with your next inhale, bring the feet a little bit closer together, lift the right leg all the way up to the ceiling, tippy toes, left foot, right knee comes into your chest, tiger curl, roll round forward, and all the way back up, three-legged dog, two more times, exhale, right knee into your chest, roll forward, all the way back up, last time, round forward, Shoulders above the wrists, all the way back up. I promise this is the last time. Right knee into your chest and place the foot in between your hands. High crescent lunge, arms reach up, inhale. Sing low, you can keep a bouncy back leg. Arms up. With your exhale, come into your warrior three, lean forward. Warrior three, hips in one line, arms back. Lower your standing leg, bend the standing leg and lower your back foot to the mat. Inhale, high lunge and we open into a warrior two. Very good. Back foot is parallel to the end of the mat. Sink in and from here, bring your right forearm to your right upper thigh. Shoulders away from the ears. Left arm draws the circle, inhale. Don't relax too much. 
We stay here, engage the core and get lighter on your right elbow. So you're losing here your right arm and bring it all the way up for three, two, and on one, warrior two. Hands to the floor. High plank vinyasa. Chaturanga go deep with or without knees in your upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Very good. Straight into the left side. Inhale, left leg up to the ceiling. Tippy toes, right foot, left knee comes into your chest, round forward. Inhale, all the way back up. Exhale, tiger curl, round forward. All the way back up. Last time, knee into your chest, round forward. Back up. Okay, this is the last time. Knee comes into your chest. Place the foot in between your hands. High crescent lunge. Inhale, arms up. And we come into our warrior three. Lean forward, arms alongside the body. Find your balance. Hips in one line. Lower the right hip down. Inhale. Bend the standing leg. Let the right foot come back to your mat. High lunge. Open into warrior two. Right foot widen your stance. Sit low. And then inhale, left forearm to your left upper thigh. Right hand draws the circle. Don't relax too much. Engage your core, get lighter in your left elbow and lift the left elbow up for three, two, and on one, warrior two. Hands to the floor. High plank, step back, lower chaturanga, upward facing dog, exhale, downward facing dog, inhale, exhale. With your next inhale, lift the right leg up to the ceiling, three-legged dog, right knee into your chest, hold it here, move forward, shift the weight, place the right foot in between your hands, left hand come to the floor, right hand reaches up, twist. All right. Attention please, tricky transition ahead. Weight in your left hand, roll to the outer side of your left back foot. At the same time, your right foot comes to the inside of your left thigh for three pose in a side plank. Lift the right foot. Use your right hand if you need to. Bring it to the inside. Three, pose and side plank. Whew, inhale. Exhale, right hand to the floor. Right leg stays where it is. Turn over your foot. Right knee is pointing down. Start to straighten it out. Place the foot on the floor. Fall in triangle, inhale. Exhale, left hand to the floor. Right knee comes into your chest, tiger curl. Straighten it back, three-legged high plank. Lower chaturanga. Place the feet on the floor. Upward facing. Exhale. Downward facing dog. Woohoo! That was sweaty and challenging. Take a deep inhale. Open mouth, exhale. One more if you need to. Okay. We come into the other side. Inhale. Left leg up to the ceiling, left knee comes into your chest, roll forward, round the back and then place the foot in between your hands. Right hand stays on the mat, left hand reaches up, twist. Very good. And now your transition, bring the weight into your right hand, roll to the outside of your right foot, you can help your left foot with your hand, bring it to the inside of your upper thigh. Three pose in side plank. Inhale. Exhale, left hand to the floor. Turn over your toes so the left knee is pointing down. Straighten your left leg out. Place the foot, fall in triangle. Inhale. Exhale, right hand to the floor. Tiger curl. Three-legged high plank, lower chaturanga, place the feet, inhale, upward facing, exhale, 
downward facing dog. Well done. Deep inhale, full exhale. Take as many of these as you like. And with your next inhale, lower the knee to the floor and sit back. Whew, catch your breath. That was a good one. Sit to one side and bring the feet to the front. We come to lay down on our back. Slowly lower yourself down. Bring your knees into your chest. And gently rock from left to right. Massage your spine. Well done. It was a challenging and sweaty session. Take a last full inhale, wrap the arms around your shin bones and with your exhale come into your Shavasana. Straighten the legs to the corners of your mat, arms to the sides. And allow yourself to rest for a moment. Allow your heart rate to calm down. Allow your breathing to slow down. Three more breaths here. Make them as deep as you can. And of course you can stay here as long as you like. If you prefer to lay down after the session, just stay here, do so. Otherwise, bring in some movement into toes and fingers, wrists. Stretch yourself, full body stretch. And then the roll over to one side. And come up into a seated position on your mat. All right, thank you so much to allow me to guide you through the session. It was great fun, sweaty and challenging. Uh, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done it, so you won't miss any new videos, there are more to come. And I'd love to see you in the next class. Namaste.